Hello and welcome to another video. So today we're just going to look at your AMPR camera from Hikvision. Um, how do we add a vehicle registration or take a vehicle registration off, put them on the allow list or put them on the block list? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to sign into your MVR. Okay, so hopefully you know the IP address and the credentials. If you don't, um, I'll do a little video on that, um, how, to, how to find the IP address for it. Um, but basically, we're going to log into the NVR now. So we're logged in. Um, what you might need to do is turn virtual host on. Virtual host allows you to have a link, and the link will take you to the individual cameras if they're plugged into the back of the NVR. Um, so to turn this on, you need to go to Network, Advanced Settings, Other, and then you'll see Enable Virtual Host. That needs to be switched on. Okay, okay, if we go back to it, if we go um, configuration system, camera management, IP cameras, and once virtual host is on, you'll get these um, external links. So basically, we've named ours AMPR camera. So I'm going to click the link, it's going to take me to the AMPR camera's login page. I'm going to log straight in. And then it's going to pop me on a live view. So to get to the list, we're going to go to configuration, um, then it's road traffic, block and allow list. And as you can see, there's a test player in here. It's not a real player. I've just made it up. Um, but what you need to do, first of all, is export the list to your computer. So that will download a copy. You need to open that. You need to input your registration plates. So it's quite self-explanatory. So we've got a second registration plate. And uh, we have a PL16 uh, WWW. Um, and then what do we want to do? Do we want to allow it or block it? Well, I'd like to allow it. I'd like it to lift my barrier or open my gate. Um, Something that people get caught out on is this bit. So you're very tempted to write the day, month, and year, but you've got to do it backwards. Um, you you can have a specific day if you want that reg play to finish, or you can just go onto it like I do and write a ridiculous date that's not going to be here for a long time. So once you've done that, um, you're just going to save it. Um, you shut that down, and then you need to browse and re-import it to browse, re-import the list, um, it'll think about it, it'll upload it, and then you can see the parameters have been successful, and that second plate has just appeared now. So that's how you load up um, a registration plate to your camera. Um, there's some other cool features on here too, so you can see who's been in, if um, the camera is set up correctly, and we'll do a different video on that, but if it's set up correctly with the right parameters in it, you should see a nice clear plate. Um, if you can't see a clear plate at this point, then there's some settings that are wrong in your camera. Um, but yeah, it's a decent clear plate. Um, that's about it. Alright, thank you very much. Bye-bye.